we have with us today Jeff Rosen and Doug von Kohorn, and um, we're going to speak about uh, their project, uh, Rhombus. And so Rhombus focuses on Oracle technologies. So blockchain technology is obviously this really exciting thing, and we're all excited about its potential uh, to change the world. But in order to do that, uh, it needs a connection to the real world, and blockchains in and of themselves only know about themselves. They don't know about the real world. Uh, and so oracles uh, provide that connection. So we send data from the real world securely into the blockchain. And Rhombus is an oracle provider, so that's what we do. Great. Um, so can you explain, does the oracle live on the blockchain, or, or how does it interact with the blockchain? And is it deployed on the blockchain? Can you give a little bit of a technical explanation? Sure. So we have uh, two main types of oracles. One of them lives on chain. That's called our lighthouse oracle. We think of it and Im imagine it as a lighthouse. And we just send the value at a regular drip to that on contract on chain. And so users can then consume that data from that smart contract. We also offer a direct delivery. So the way you use that is you'd, you'd send out a signal, which is uh, known as an event. You'd mine an event, and we'd be looking for it. Once we see it, we verify it comes from you, and then we deliver the data directly to your contract. So that's those are two types. Nice, awesome. Can you give uh, like an example of one of the oracles uh, that that uh, that you've implemented for a real use case uh, and, and what it does? Or? Yeah, sure. Um, so there are several. Uh, one that I find personally exciting uh, is a flight insurance oracle. And so the way that works is, uh, as a user, you may want to purchase flight delay insurance that says, you know, I'll pay 20 bucks. If my flight is delayed to the point that it's going to really inconvenience me, I'd like to get a payout for the full cost of my flight. Say that's $300. So you put in your $20 premium, and then if your flight turns out to be delayed, then you receive that $300 uh, as a payout for your inconvenience. So the way that traditionally works with insurance providers is that uh, your flight gets delayed, you file the claim, the insurance company stalls as long as possible, they probably have some middleman whose job it is to like find a way to worm out of paying you out. Uh, but with blockchain-based insurance, that can happen automatically. And so there are companies uh, out there like Etherisk that are solving this exact problem, uh, where they offer this decentralized blockchain-based flight insurance where you get paid out immediately. So the thing that those insurance providers like Etherisk need to know is, was that flight actually delayed? And that's a real-world event that the blockchain doesn't know about. Okay. And so Rhombus securely aggregates this flight information and delivers it, and that's what enables that instant payout. So you can get paid out literally while you're standing at the airport. Forget about the insurance claims, forget about the middleman. It's all instantaneous. That's great. So it allows uh, blockchain transactions to, to gain information from the real world that, that doesn't exist directly on the blockchain. So. So then you're relying on, uh, on, on various sources of that information uh, that, that you have to tap into in various services. Um, w what if you end up with some faulty information? Can you reconcile that? Or, or what are the, the challenges that you deal with uh, when you're implementing an Oracle? Sure. Uh, yeah, so I can speak to that. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can deal with uh, faulty data. The way Rhombus deals with it mainly is by curating only the best-in-class data suppliers. So we try to find the best for flight data or the best for macroeconomic financial data. Um, and we go through a lot of uh, processes that make sure that data is consistent, computable, reliable, and secure. Um, so that's the first way to deal with that sort of data. Um, and, and then the second is uh, we integrate sometimes with dispute resolution providers. So if there's some faulty information delivered, then you can go into a dis dispute process and maybe uh, claw back some of your transactions. Mm -hmm. But often when there's faulty data reported, it's on either the risk is pushed onto the consumer or the data supplier, and nobody ends up taking responsibility for that. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to be the platform that takes responsibility for secure, reliable, computable, consistent data. Mm -hmm. And it's a very hard problem, and there's a lot of ways to handle that, and we're, mm -hmm. we're working towards mm -hmm. One key aspect of that is building as much redundancy as possible uh, into what you need. So for example, with that flight delay example, we can aggregate as many data sources as you want. Maybe you want 10 different sources all coming together to report the answer. That way you're uh, more robust and you're protected against you know, some API going haywire, or just frankly having wrong data. Uh, we've had customers request as many as 15 different data sources uh, to aggregate all together. We can automatically detect the statistical outliers and throw them out. Um, and that way we can ensure that the answer you're getting is the right answer. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, 
your your implementation then for an Oracle involves Solidity contracts, um, and 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 w what kind of other technologies are woven into the fabric of delivering an Oracle? Um, yeah, so most of what we do is runs on a couple servers, uh, distributed across the world, and it's mostly written in Go. There's all sorts of complicated processes involved. I mean, one of our oracles, the Lighthouse contract, has a consistent periodic delivery. So there's a schedule of system. There's also a full node. We have to run several full nodes to monitor the network to make sure we can do that direct delivery. When a customer requests a piece of data, we compute it and deliver it. So we have to be monitoring the network at all times. But I'd say most of it's in Go, okay. very high level. Okay. Cool. So. Um how can our listeners uh, experience uh, the, the, the product? You, you said you have a couple oracles out there that, that can be explored by, by users on the web. So how would they go about uh, exploring those? Sure. Uh, so there's a lot out there already. Uh, if you go to blog.rhombus.network, uh, we just posted today uh, several new oracles uh, that you can use right away. Uh, we also built three dApps that demonstrate the capability of these oracles with some interesting applications. Um, but that's really just the tip of the iceberg. It may be that what you need for your specific application uh, is something that we haven't thought of yet. And one of the things that Rhombus is happy to do for you is build you anything custom uh, that you need to get your dApp to be successful. Uh, and so you can contact us at any time. It's hello at rhombus.network, uh, and we'll be happy to build you whatever you need. Okay. Um, does the oracles that you have out there... Um do, do any of them have user interfaces or a way to engage with them, or is it more of a programmatic uh, thing? So. Sure. I mean, there's a UI, so if you want to check them out, like, for example, on the Rinkby testnet, um, you can go to Etherscan and check all of them out. Um, and then is there more? There might... Yeah, I mean, the best UI for interacting with us is to use Truffle. We built a custom uh, Truffle box that helps you get up and running and testing locally with our contracts. So you can pretend you have us locally and start building your dApp. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the best way to interact with our, our smart contracts. And then again, Block Explorers Online, they have our ABI, and they, you can do lots of introspection and look into the values in our, in our Lighthouse contract. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Uh, thanks for coming to ETH Denver, guys. Jeff and Doug, uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, good luck with your project. All right. Thank you. All right.